Okay, I picked up this shelf for free, but when I went to load it in my truck, I realized why I got it for free, because although it looks really solid and good, it was very flimsy, like it wanted to rack, rack over to the side, either side, if, if you leaned it a little bit on a slope or you went to tilt it on its side, this thing would just slant, slant over and it, it could break off all these very weak um, connections on the shelves. All of these slide out. They're adjustable. Um, but this center shelf is secured with some screws and then the tops and bottoms. But the only thing that keeps it rigid on the sides is this board here. And it's, it was just tacked in with some simple brads. Um, and at the bottom, they broke out the particle board. I don't know if you could see that. It chipped out and this backboard slid down and it, it wasn't supporting the, it wasn't adding any rigidity to it. So the way I fixed it, I took an old piece of wood strip that I had made out of pine you can get these for a dollar at Home Depot or Lowe's or most any hardware store. One dollar. It's a one by two furring strip. <clears throat> and all I did was I laid it right down the center. I, I drilled pilot holes about two inches in and I put a one and five eighths inch um, decking screw in like every ten inches. And then around the perimeters... I stuck some little tacks in every six inches all the way around and then that made it nice and stiff. Now it's nice and rigid. So that's how I fixed up this, this nice cabinet shelf that I got for free. It's an Ikea design. I know it is. And from what I heard, they don't build them very well. This thing, this is gonna last a little longer now, but this is an easy way to fix one if you find one or if you have one that's leaning to the side and it's weak. You wanna add some wood bracing in the back to keep that paneling in the back secure. You wanna secure that paneling in the rear. So that's the trick that I used. The main, the main thing that did the diff was that pine strip down the center, cause that locked that board in place all the way down the center rib because otherwise it was just sliding down and it wasn't holding anything when it's pushed all the way up into the top into the top plate it stiffens it up 